Hey internet, it's Jonathan here with the fellas of r and um, We are playing a gig tonight in a church in Leicester, this one to be precise. And uh, we're just going to load in and then sound check. Holy Trinity Leicester. Holy Trinity Leicester. To the building, plug your instruments in, then we're going to sound check. In the, doors are open now, people are arriving. We're going to be playing in like an hour. Hello, I'm currently editing the vlog that you're now watching, and uh, to give a little bit of context, the clip that you're about to see is a clip from the guys who were opening for us at Leicester, a band called Once Vagrant Souls, with our, our new friend Pedro on drums, who apparently has a sister called Damaris who watches these vlogs. So if you're watching Damaris, hope you're having a nice day. <laughs> All I'm going to say is keep an eye on the drum screen because you'll witness something beautiful. <laughs> Gear away, hold on, Paul. Do you vlog? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so do I. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're all done. Sometimes the after set bit is is really fun because we get to meet people and build connections that you don't always get to do just by having people listening to music on Spotify or online. Um, it's nice to actually meet people face to face. We're in Wigan today. Wigan. Gig number two of this weekend, and uh, our friend John Williams is launching a new organisation called Enable, and uh, he's asked us if we'll come and lead worship at the launch of his event, and um, we said yes, so that's what we're doing. Uh, it's a very cool place, nice modern building, and interesting lineup change today. We've got Nathan on drums, Dan on bass. It's a game changer, people. Nathan's gonna be in here playing drums for Rivers and Robots. How are you feeling, Nathan? Are you ready? <laughs> and the drummer's away, the bass is still play. Dan has moved from producer to bass extraordinaire. I was always slightly bitter because I've been playing bass since I was about 14 and just in church faithfully every week. And Nathan never played bass, he always played drums. And then suddenly, he's in this amazing like indie band <laughs> playing bass. And he's got my dream bass, he's got the Fender Jazz. <laughs> Just yeah. one of those days. Brothers, like, eh? All of our dreams are coming true. <laughs> one of the viewers did comment that they didn't realise that you guys were brothers, so... If people didn't know, Nathan and Dan are brothers. We're brothers. The Sterlings. I don't know if that helped design. This is the Nord Electro 5D. I got this thing because I really love the Nord piano sound, but most of the Nords are massive, like really long that way, and also really heavy. Um, whereas this thing is really light, uh, it's only semi-weighted, the keys are kind of plasticky, springy. However, it's got all the Nord sounds, sounds amazing. It's cheaper and it's lighter, so it's great for traveling with. This is the little Mini Martin that we use. Um, so this guitar, we saw Will Reagan from United Pursuit playing one of these and we just thought we need to get one. It's a three quarter size Martin. Again, really light, great for traveling, but sounds amazing when you plug it in. Uh, here's Dave's pedal board, giving away his secrets though, so you can't see that. The Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, the Fender Telecaster, which is Dave's electric guitar. Uh, I play Stratocaster as well. And then over here, we have the trusty Fender Jazz bass, which is a thing of beauty. We are just getting ready, it's about to start in two minutes. Uh, we're going to do a bit of worship, hear about the vision, and um, support what these guys are doing. It's good stuff. Uh, we've got Rivers and Robots with us this evening who are going to be leading us in our song worship, so we're going to have an opportunity to, uh, to praise the God who is actually the focus of Enable. Actually, the, tonight is not about John, he'll be the first to say that. Just like
like that, we're back in the office. It's Monday morning, fresh start, new week. I remember like quite a few vlogs ago we said that we were going to do a new lyric video for the Eternal Sun every two weeks until we finished it. And about the time we said that we stopped making lyric videos. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to work on a new lyric video for To The Highest Place, which is going to involve making a lot of posters and printing them out. We're back on it now. We've got three videos left, which is, which are, uh, To The Highest Place, Eternal Sun, the title track, and Jesus Your Blood. We've got ideas for all three, but we need to actually make them. So the idea for To The Highest Place was to basically make a poster of every line of the song and then film a video with the posters being put on a table or something. Um, but I need to make the posters first, so that's currently what I'm doing in Adobe Illustrator. But yes, going to try and design those over the next couple of days and then get them printed and then we can film the actual posters. Nathan's been sorting out the US tour, which we've been wanting to do for about four years, probably. <laughs> so this is the closest we've actually come to making it happen. We're nearly How's there. How's it going? How's it going? Nearly, nearly there. <laughs> been um, figuring out visas. We've got all the dates booked in now, so um, yeah. yeah, I want to tell you where it is. But, um, <laughs> Need to get the visa thing first. Yeah. I'm also listening to Anathalo, so if you know what that means, you're one cool person. Okay, so I've started some of these posters. I quite like this one. Um, in fact, I think all the top four, okay. Um, I think the problem is I've got to design about 20, well, nearly 30 posters to get one for every lyric, and um, getting a bit bored of the style. <laughs> when you're trying to make one poster at a time, it's not too bad, but when you're trying to make 30 posters in one, batch, it gets a little bit tiresome. Is tiresome a word? Awf awfully tiresome. Awfully tiresome. <laughs> Doing this many posters. Very English, isn't it? Um, at the moment I've got like verse one all look quite similar, it's all black on white, and then maybe the bridge it changes to something else. I just don't know people. Anyway, this is how I design a poster. So first things first, um, I always start by sketching things out, unless you can't be bothered, but do it if you can. The first step in doing one of these posters is to figure out the words that you're going to put on, um, the ones that you want to emphasise as well. So the line I'm going to do now is stepping down into a world you made. So I'll try a few sketches. Okay, so here's idea one, which I already don't like because there's too many small bits here and made is massive and just feels wrong. So, try again. <laughs> This one's getting close now, kind of like the curved thing, uh, but made seems too small compared to stepping because there's just... So I think if, if you made could be on a curve and world comes down there, we might have something. Probably not the neatest drawing, but I think that is going to be the best layout. So now, to illust... oh that's... to illustrator! Illustrator process is um, mostly trial and error. Obviously, it's changed. It's changed a bit from that layout. Um, and there's just a case of picking the fonts that fit right. And I knew I wanted something kind of tall but not too tall, um, and that the one in the middle needed to be different. So I tried a wide font to kind of spread that out because the other ones were tall. Um, that didn't really work, so I went for a little kind of script font. I don't know. I think I like that. It looks a bit like a college jumper. <laughs> but now I'm stuck at this point, you see, because I've just got a lot of black and white posters. I don't know whether to make them colours or photos or something. Okay, the plan is coming together people. So the first verse is all black text on a white background, verse 2 is going to be white text on a dark background and um, this kind of design I've come up with for the first one, uh, I'm kind of just rolling that out for the other lines. Um, this one didn't really work with the curved text because uh, the word the was kind of throwing it off. If you have kind of four of those they make verse 2, these four make verse 1, so there's a bit of a consistency going on. Probably going to get rid of these and try something else. <laughs> The plan with this video is to design a poster for every line of the song and then print them as one-off prints, one of one, limited edition, um, and then film a video with those like little 8x10 prints and then at the end of the video put a link where you can go and buy those posters and get the only one of one available. So you can watch the video and then be like, I've got that poster in my house. Fun fact about To The Highest Place is it 
kind of got reworked about six times, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna try and track down some of the old versions. Like, if I'm honest, I was not a fan of this song when it first came around, and um, it was partly my fault that it got reworked six times. <laughs> this clip's from uh, one of the rehearsals that we did, where we went a bit crazy. <laughs> and then I think we went double time at the end. Place. That was to the highest place. Uh, ended up sounding like this. Which <laughs> is quite different. Oh, there's this one. Yeah, there was this one. I felt like with this one, it was a bit too similar to some of the other trucks on the album. Yeah, this is when we toned it down to like slight hip hop feel. Sounds nice on its own, but when you hear it with all the other songs, it kind of blurs together. So. Sounds really good though now when you listen to it. It's quite nice. Yeah. Where's the... This is where you're all going to want the free downloads of all these <laughs> versions, right? I want that version. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Set sail, baby, you'll blow. Set sail, baby, you'll blow. It's a video, it's a vlog as well. Set sail.